Hello everyone, welcome back to a personal favourite of mine and a favourite of the channel, it's Railroads. So, Sid Mars Railroads. Now in fact the reason why um, most of the stuff got removed from the last, um, for, well all the previous videos got removed is because they still had the music in it. Now the problem with that is the fact that the music um, 2K no, lo no longer owns the rights to the music in this game. They've sold it on because it's such an old game. It's part of the business deal, all the kind of stuff that they do. As a result of that, it meant that I can't play the game with the music on because I get content ID claims from a different company. So there's not really much I can do about that. Now, I found out from just playing around recently when I was just playing with the game that you have the ability to turn off the music. And it should prevent me from getting any content ID claims. Now, um, we're playing against two people. So we've got Jim Fisk and Jay Gould, both ruthless, ruthless robber barons. And we've got a good position there. And we've got some gold nearby. So that's going to be helpful for us. But we've also got Los Angeles nearby and they demand gold. So what we're going to do is before we now these are things to bear in mind about sort of gaming the game so to speak by the what you intend to use before you actually build the line so what we're going to do first is we're just going to build a line over to los angeles keep it nice and simple like that and that's going to be essentially just the train, you know, the passengers. And they're going to be in there doing their thing. Meanwhile, this is because we're not supplying anything to it, nobody's interested in it. As soon as we bought it, we can build the second line, but we'll have to sell some of our stock to do it. So, here we go. And then, oh, no, not yet. And then we create the line in here. Underneath and through to here. So you can see it's expensive, so we've got to sell some more of our stock to do that. Probably going to be a while because it's a relatively biggish bridge with a bit of a tunnel. We want to avoid the tunnel if we can. Because it'll be too expensive. And you can see it's about 300. And there we go, it's in. Put that in there. Now the advantage is that once this starts generating gold, we can then just deliver the gold to there. And it's it's essentially a massive boon for us. So we've got the stockyard and we also need to look up here for other stuff. Now one thing you can do is you can sell like that. It affects your money almost immediately. And then pause it. So your enemies can't do much while you build new stuff. So it's a way of gaming the system, essentially. So there is a stockyard there. And you've got some additional wineries, oil, lots of grapey stuff. Now let's see what industry. So they've got a power plant and a winery. So what I think we should do is we should buy the winery before we start building anything. So we're buying the winery. And it means that we can then put in stuff from here, stuff from here. I think there was another one around here somewhere, wasn't there? Yes, one we up there. And they've also got a power plant, which means they'll take oil. So we've got the option to build multiple bits and bobs up there as well, which is obviously wonderful news. So, let's just pause. And... Now you can see it's blue. Now, one thing to bear in mind, later on in the game, one thing to really, really hurt your opponents is you can buy the industries that they're supplying to. Now, the advantage of that means that... So if you look here, he's just doing passengers. The advantage of that, it means that essentially what happens is you get... Um, 2%, well, 50% of everything that's delivered there. 
So if they deliver the ore there, you get 50% of the value. And so it's a way essentially of generating more money and therefore allowing you to buy more things. But it's very important that you win the, um, the thing for the actual... Oh god, what's the word? The auction for the industry. It's very important you win it. And it's also very important that you auction off or you keep your own stuff as well. For obvious reasons. Now, there you go. See, Yuma. That's a nice place. Good mine there. So it might be possible for us to build another line sort of round here and over to Yuma. But it's going to be a bloody expensive one. Because you're going over the top of somebody else's and then you're going to be going into there. So that's something else to consider to assist us in getting more money. And we could very well just build another line to do that. Now, let's see. Let's get the gold in. So we want to go there, and we're just going to say, wait until you're full, and then deliver to there. Which is great. In the meantime, check our value. We don't have a lot of money available to us. So what we're going to do is... We should have bought the winery. Yes, we have. Um, I'm going to sell another one because what I'm going to do is I am going to change my volume slightly. Um, is buy the power plant. Now, the reason for that is because I want to be able to supply oil to it because of these guys. Oh, hello. Now, just have to wait and see how that turns out. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I'm plotting, I'm planning, I'm doing stuff. Now, obviously, once these guys have made the gold, once gold starts being made here, we can then start delivering it up to Los Angeles. Now. Um, so there we go. So here is going to be the first winery route that we're going to take. And it's going to be over to here, like so. Yeah, that'll be do. And then we'll put a thing in there. And then we'll start delivering the grapes. Always tell it to wait till full. And go in there like that. Hmm, okay. So. There we go. You can see us now going into that position. And we're doing the winery thing. Now, what we may need to do here... Is let's look at the value... Of how much it'll cost us... To start taking some of that gold from Yuma. So if we go under here, like so... Like this... And then, weigh the balls over here, so to speak. 279,000. So we that's what we're going to do next. Okay. So there's the winery, the grapes going in. And we need another one. Yes, there we go. So, what we may do here... Is when you've got a terminal like this, you can get up to three lines. If you want four lines, you've got to upgrade it to a full-size terminal, which is one of these. That's when you can get four lines in. So. Let's build another one. Whoops. Another one out to here. Like so. And then build another. We just have it as four for the moment. Until such times as business picks up and the output of the winery increases as it grows. Which it will do. Now. Um, so things are going reasonably well there. Oh, hello. That's the mogul, which is really good for freight. So we are going to change that to a mogul. And we're going to change that to a mogul. Now, 
Let's just check, because there you go, they've got gold. So now, what we can do... ...is we can create a fourth line. Like this. And we're going to have to upgrade our terminal here. Now, it'll cost probably 250,000. So, 100,000 100, for that one. And then 150 for that one. Which we just don't have enough for it yet. So, what this is going to be... ...is essentially just a track going back and forth... ...between... ...these two lines, these two locations. And essentially what it's going to be is just literally just carrying gold. At the moment, anyway. So there we go, we got enough there. Go in and upgrade it to a terminal. And then, that's where we put in the next line here. And then connect it... ...to the fourth line, here. Let's just see, make sure we get the action right, there we go. Done, done. And then, it'll automatically suit the, uh, put in the right, uh, pathing. And that is a huge amount of money. Now what we might actually do is tell it to go to there. And to then, do they demand grape? Yes, they do. So we'll clear that, and then we'll turn it into grape. And it'll just take wine back. So, gold there, which is what's going to be loaded in, as you can see. And then it'll get to that end. It'll change all the things to grape cars or wine cars, and it'll bring all the wine back. So, that's going to be helpful for us. Change him to a... Oh, hello. This is going to be helpful. Now, this is a patent auction. For those of you not aware, if you win the patent, you get exclusivity for 10 years. And then after 10 years, it becomes available to everyone. Now, that's interesting. How's his value compared to the others? Hmm, yeah. He's a pretty equal. One thing that's very good to do... ...is to... ...literally buy stock in the middle of an auction, when they're not paying attention. It's a way of throwing them off. So, we may win this, or we might get a last-minute one. No, okay, we win this, right. So now we've done that, we need to start buying our stock as a matter of urgency. Oh, hello. Um, so there we go, the, uh, the gold's been delivered, so that means we've got a lot of money now, as a result, to keep us happy. Which is, you know, let's face it, it's a good thing. It's a damn good thing. I'm a big fan of money. Especially when I've got some, anyway. Um, so... We got that wine there, and this one here. So what we'll do is we shall run this one out to here, like so. And we'll set that up there. Now, what we could do is change this line so it just delivers the grape into that line. And then have a sort of cross switch thing. Um, or we could just let it go on with it. Because it's on simple pathing. So simple pathing means they'll they'll travel through each other. If for whatever reason there's a a blockage, as the actress said to the bishop. Um, okay, so that's a reasonable amount there. Oh, hello, more gold. Twelve. Oh, that would be nice, but the trouble is, is we'd have to get it all the way down, through, Sa uh, down to San Diego, which would be quite a trek. You see? We'd have to bring it over here, like this. I mean, it might be worth a try. Let's see, where was it? Was it over here? Let's zoom out a little bit and have a sniff around. There it is. Now, it might be better for us to just do that to that. And then send the gold down here to Los Angeles. So, let's build that with that in mind. But all we're doing is this is literally just going to be a placeholder. So we've got somewhere, a way to build. 
See? So we go here. We go round. And then... Oops, a daisy. We just make a nice little straight line from there to there. And then, delete, delete. So we get money back for that. Now, what we can do is put that in there, put that in there, and then buy the smelter as quickly as possible. And then buy more stock of ours while we're doing it. Now, once we've done that, what we can do is we'll put in another line here. And this line is what's going to deliver the gold. From here. Down to here. I think if we do it like that, and then like that, that'll be better. So, if we then go from here, wait until full, deliver to there, that's literally all we want them to do. And then what we'll do is we'll add in this and we'll say, wait until full, and then deliver to there. Now, in this particular type of map, this sort of era, gold is an absolute godsend when it comes to boosting your economy and your bank balance. So it's an extremely helpful thing. Now, we've got a central uh, thing here that we can also use. Now, if you need to build switch tracks, it's quite an easy thing to do. Oh, hello. Um, what I'm going to do is... Also, this is the first recording I've done with the Go XLR Mini. So please tell me if the quality is good, all that kind of stuff. Now, if we build this through here, we've got, we can put in something for that as well. So. Now, here's how we create a switch track. You can create one like this. And that's just a simple, it can go to that line. And then we've also got one where we can say, go back to that one. We can do one for there if we need to. We might need to repurpose this one here for the grape to go into this one. But it also means that we can put in switch tracks here. Like that. And a switch track there as well. And you can click on this again. And you can see how we're doing compared to the competition. How many stocks we own, let's buy another of our own, and how many stocks in the other person we buy, and also our financials. So you can see we're making 340 million, 343,000 profit a year, he's making 113, he's making 63. So Jim Fisk is really the primary concern for us. And you can see there, Jay Gould buying his own stock. Let's buy some of Jim Fisk's, although I think we should buy some of our own first. There we go. Let's buy some of Jim's. Um, okay, so... Once that's delivered, I'm going to delete it because I want to repurpose the track. And you can't do that while there's a live train on it. Oh, hello, Tim Wheeler. Delete. Okay, so now we've done that. We can delete that track and we can redo that like so. So that means now we just have to reset that to do that. Okay, so that's good. So yeah, let me know if you're liking the uh, the sound. The sound's supposed to be a lot better on the Go XLR in comparison to my previous setup. Um, so, it's a thing to bear in mind. So that's oil there. Have we done the oil? We haven't done the oil up here, have we? Let's set that to full. Turn those game sounds up a tad. There we go. And... Now... What we can do is... 
Take the thing off there. Like so, and put it in there. Now. We can put in a switch track to that. And you can then put a switch track into that one if you need to, you know? Um, so we can say, okay, let's put in a switch track to there. And that one won't need a switch track, we'll just leave it to get on with it. So, let's get the oil in here. Wait until full, and then go there. Which reminds me, I'd almost forgotten. Buy more of your own stock. Buy some Jim Fisk stock. But after we've done this gold mine route that we were going to do. Now we've got more money in the bank. There we go. Oh, that was oil. Oh, shite. Didn't want to do that. So, we want to do this one. Like so. Oh, tunnels. That would have been helpful. But never mind. Let, oh, hello. Let's bid for that. We've got plenty of cash in the bank. So that shouldn't be a problem for us. All that all being delivered, isn't it lovely? All that gold being generated. And we've just won the the tunnel um, auction. Which is good news, I would say. Now, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so let's go on and start stealing some gold. Wait until full, and then deliver. Okay, so basically he's going to wait until he's full and then take like eight loads. That's a bad choice of words, but okay. Um, that's another one that's okay as well. Could be maybe go in and steal that. Don't know. We could sort of... Go down there like that. And then make our way over to here. Like that. And then start stealing some gold from there. You know, these are, these guys are robber barons. If you're not going to be an absolute sod to them, why not be a, you know, who else are you going to be a complete sod to? Doesn't look pretty, but you know, it's functional. So, hey ho. And what we might do is just put in a little switch track there. Give them that option. Let's change that because it's an American to a 10 wheeler because that's built for passengers. There we go, delivery to Los Angeles, there we go, multi-millionaire, hurrah. Buy more of my stock, buy more of his stock. Continuing buying stock. So, you can see here that what we've done is we've built up a pretty good economy. Um, with respect to the gold. Because the gold is really what's generating the money for us. Um, you know, it can be, I think, 80,000 per delivery. Here we go. Let's watch this fella here. And that little red number you can see going off is the uh, maintenance costs. So once he stops... There you go, 30,000. 30,000. But the price goes down a little bit as you actually deliver more stuff. So, you know, um, those are things to consider. 
So if you look, for example, gold, you can see here, pretty much I'm the only person supplying any gold. And if we look at the goods, you can see gold in here somewhere. Gold, there you go, see? Because there it was high, but as I've started to supply more, so the price has started to go down. So these are things to consider. Right. So I'd say we're doing pretty well there. And what we'll also do is we'll put in a switch track to there, like so. So, let's see. I think we've got everything sort of up this way. And we've still got this fella here. Providing us with lots of gold as well. Which is very spangly. And we're also pilfering gold from here. Oh, goodness me, he's got a smelter that we haven't bought yet. That's interesting. Let's have some of that. Because this guy here, who is Red, Jim Fisk, is going to be pissed that we're stealing that. So let's steal that off him. And also we'll get the winery, because then 11,000 a year. See, 16,000. It's all, it's all money that gets generated. That helps you to bolster um, your bank balance and take over your opponents. We've now bought all of our stock. So let's start buying Jim Fisk while we're bidding for his uh, smelter. See, now he's probably not got a huge amount of money if you look at the values. We're at 14 million, they're at 3 million, these are 2 million. Obviously, the fact that we uh, jumped in here it's been helpful for us. Now, let's go over here again and get the uh, vinery. See, now it's gone to zero because it's like end of year. So let's see, there's the winery and we're having you as well. This is the key to beating your opponents in the game is essential. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, is that mine? Oh, it is. Oh God, what a horrific, horrific design. And then he's come in here with this, which is nice. Go away. See what I mean? It looks an absolute bloody mess now. Ah, food plant. Let's buy that too. We got one million in the bank, so let's buy some more stocks while we're stealing Jim Fisk's uh, business. Another one there. And that value there now is the value that we will have to pay to take over his business in turn, in turn entirely. So it's something to bear in mind. And bingo, we got that one too. So let's have a look around. What else is he working on? Nothing really. Um, Blythe, we've got both of those. We're not worried about that. We're generating a lot of money there. We're generating reasonable amounts of money there. This has now increased in size up to generating 12. So we're happy with that. I would say overall, that's a good start. I don't know about you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. As railroads, we love it. See you later, everyone.